army for a bit, and that's where I learned the martial arts of using the shovel. Wow, you're quite the gal. I thought I was tough when I was your age. I could kick ass with most of the guys in my hood, but I was still a lady, as are you. I better check us in. Hey, Jerome, I'm here with Faith. Thank you. Have a great day, Mary. You too, sweetie. You're welcome, Faith. No problems. <laughs> hey, Jerome, Gracie's in her room. Hi, Michael. Excuse me. Hi, I'm Minnie. Hi. Uh, this is Emily. She's working today. Oh, Are yeah. you a production assistant? No, I'm transport. Where is the AD trailer? Emily is playing Sharon. Yeah, uh, I'll find out. Hey, Andrew, we got uh, Emily here playing Sharon with her mother. Where do you want him? Oh, can you take her to the wardrobe truck, please? I'm so busy right now. Copy that. Yeah, copy that. We're gonna get, we'll take you to wardrobe. Okay. Thanks, Michael. Bruce in there, he needs to brush 15 minutes. Copy that. You know Mickey. Uh, it's Michael, not Mickey. I can't see. Michael, Mickey, what's the difference? My friend's school time is Michael, and, and I call him Mickey. Well, maybe you call him Mickey because he's uh, nine years old or grade two or whatever. How do you know he famous? Do you know he famous? So she asked me uh, if I would be comfortable without any teeth for the next four to six months. And I said, well, I'm only dealing with friends all the time, and they'll accept me, and they do accept me any way that I am, with teeth, without teeth, with bad teeth. And then she leaned into me, and she said, well, that's a good thing, because you're not much to look at now anyway. <laughs> hey, Joel. Hey, how are you, Mike? Here with uh, Emily. Got to go. Talk to you later. Love She's you. playing Bye. Sharon. Hi, Emily. Nice to meet you. What a great script, a great part, and fabulous movie. This is uh, Minnie, her mother, Jewel. Oh, hi, Minnie. Nice to meet you. Hi. Mickey, this is Michael. Do you mind not telling crew members that my mother is my mother? I like people referring to her as my manager. Wardrobe designer to you, dear. Is that what they call you? Yeah. Actually, she has a good point because I'm actually not her mother. I'm her foster mother. But it's probably better that people don't think of me as one of those monster mothers or foster mothers that's trying to use their so-called daughter, you know, to get the respect and adulation that she should have got in her early career as an actress. I just, I would hate that. Yeah, that makes sense. Have I got a honey wagon room or a star wagon room? I have no idea. Could you maybe find out? Could you maybe... Shut the fuck up. Excuse me? Uh, could she maybe just tell me what she wants? Good question. How come only the American talent get star wagon rooms while the Canadian actor are lucky enough to get the back seat of a minibus? That's not Michael's problem, dear. You have to take that up with the producers. Michael is doing as good as he can, all right? Well, Mickey isn't succeeding. <laughs> I don't believe this. You know what? You, my friend, have an attitude problem. Oh, yeah? I have the attitude? Yeah. Yes, you I do. Have, I yeah. have the attitude? Mm -hmm. I have the attitude, yes, eh? Well, at least you admit it. My mother and I have seen a lot of this. Oh, yeah? Is that your mother you're referring to now, or your manager, or your foster mom? Which was it, a momager? This is outrageous. I will be contacting Emily's agent. Unbelievable. Fucking unbelievable. 